Good afternoon, Boom Beach. You're watching Snuggles Plays and I'm your host, the one and only Snuggles. In today's episode, guys, as you can see, I have uh, not got any troops. I, I've just done uh, an operation hit and lost all my Zookas, um, kind of fluffed it up a bit there. Um, so I have no troops and I don't have uh, enough diamonds or um, endless reserves to to instant finish my troops. So in today's episode, guys, because we don't have any troops to attack with, I thought instead we would look at some operation hits. Now, this has come from a very good suggestion um, from Ryan, the PSC Live. So thank you, Ryan, for this suggestion. It's a brilliant suggestion. He suggested, guys, because I'm now in, in case you didn't know, any for anyone out there who didn't already know, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I have recently changed task forces. And I was in a task force called All Stars, a much lower task force with doing lower level um, ops. Well, I suppose not that much lower, but lower compared to forlorn, 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 God, my God, guys, I can't speak again. Much lower than uh, forlorn hope, which um, we are currently now doing in my new task force, which is SEALs. So I'm now in SEALs, guys. And, um, yeah, we, we are doing full low, oh my God, I see what is wrong with me today. I can't say that word. Forlorn, forlorn. Let me just work on my tongue a bit. Forlorn, forlorn. Yeah, I, I can actually say that word, but for some reason it's uh, escaping me today, guys. don't know what's wrong with me. I think I just get nervous when I press record and I just sound like a blooming nunce, um, numpty. But anyway, so yeah, as you can see, we, we're doing for, forlorn, um, hope and, um, we, we're doing it on a daily basis, basically. We, we're doing it every, every day. Um, so Ryan suggested uh, to show you guys some hits from, from Forlorn Hope because most people don't get to see or attack operations at this, at this high level. So I thought I would just run through with you guys some, some brilliant um, attacks here. So here we've got Carl. I'll show you this. This is a great solo from Carl. Carl soloing Machina here. Now, as many of you know, Machina is a bit of a bastard. Oops, am I allowed to say bastard on YouTube? Well, I just did. Oh, well. Uh, as many of you know, Machina is, is a right pain in the backside of a... Of a base to to do because you've got all these rockets and everything covering the base but um so smoke is required guys and here we've got carl going in he is smoking his ukas he's flaring up to the sweet snuggle spot and he's going to do a beautiful solo takedown of this base so that yeah for this is what machina looks like um in full on hope guys um Lots of rockets. You see, he smokes them, he flares the core, he throws critters, he throws the shocks. Perfect timing. Gets bricks, battle orders going up. And almost actually loses all his troops there at the end, but just about doesn't manage to lose all his troops. So, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Um, Brilliant solo takedown by Carl there of Machina. Um, what else can I show you guys? Let's see, there's some other... Um, let's see... There's another There's another good solo here. Um, so I'll show you a uh, tap here. Hawkeye and Reaper on tap here or tape here. Um, so this is what this is what tape here looks like, guys. On on forlorn hope, forlorn hope level. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I cannot say that word for the life of me. It's just I just press record on here and I just turn to jelly and I can't seem to get my words out. It's ridiculous. Um, hopefully you will bear with me, guys, as I try and. Get my tongue back in my mouth, as it were. So here we've got Hawkeye going in on tape here. Pretty sure it's tape here, not tap here, actually. Um, 
Again, words that I know perfectly well how they're supposed to be pronounced and said, said, etc. As soon as I press record, I just can't seem to say them properly and it just makes me sound like a, a numpty. Well, I assure you guys I'm not a numpty. Um, I think it's just nerves. Because I am quite new to um, YouTube videos, making videos thing, so um, I haven't had that much experience. Uh, in uh, making videos and talking um, and that so yeah it with time the nerves will pass and I'll stop speaking like a blooming numpty but um, <laughs> anyway enough of that so we've got Hawkeye here going up he's flared up to that sweet snuggle spot flared the core got the zoo because one peaks out there but it doesn't matter and here come the shocks shock 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 there we go, and he manages to get a lot of damage done there. Here come the critters. Another shock. He manages to actually almost solo that guy there. That's a brilliant um, solo attempt uh, by Hawkeye there. See, you see how much? Well, it doesn't actually show you, but as you can see from that tiny little pink section, there's not much health left on that core. So brilliant, brilliant hit there from from Hawkeye. And um, I'll show you the, um, here's Reaper, Reaper going in and Reaper's taking it down. Um, not that there was, actually will it let us, no it doesn't let us, okay. Um, so here's Reaper going in guys. So while we're having this nice discussion about Operation Hits and Task Forces and the like, um, do comment down below guys, tell me what task force are you in, what level of operations are you doing in your task forces, how do you find task forces, do you find them hard, um, do you find them easy, are you happy in your task force, do you want to leave your task force, do you have a lot of chat in your task force? Um, we have so much chat in, in SEALs, guys, it is just ridiculous. Sometimes you log on and there's like a hundred chat messages to catch up on. Um, I, I, I personally, I can't always keep up with the chat, it's absolutely crazy. Um, but good, crazy but good. None of this is bad, by the way, I, I'm loving it in SEALs so far. Um, everyone's really friendly and welcoming and nice and yeah. I'm enjoying my time in SEALs so far, and I think I will continue to do so. So there you go. We've got Reaper finishing it off there. As you see, only needed, I think that was two two hits from the Zookas with the battle orders to take it down. But again, great, great hit. Great takedown. So we've got some really, really good players in our task force, guys. Um... see I don't know what else I don't know what else you want to see here um, so let's show the two on rogue we've got buff on rogue going in there we go. let's just speed this up a bit for you guys same old landing, Zookas flaring up, 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 collect them all, wait for them to all gather up, collect them all again, and flare to the sweet snuggle spot, doesn't need to shock anything, just battle orders over and over again, until his gumbo energy runs out, and he's got, he had over, over two minutes of poor, um, just blowing away, um, pounding away, sorry, at, at the core there. Um, does he get the shield down, guys? Does he get the shield? He probably will get the shield. It looks like he is going to get the shield. Um, 40 seconds, or maybe he just doesn't. Mm -hmm. But either way, he pretty much near enough gets it. Ah, oh, he just misses out on getting the shield there, guys. But still, it's a lot of damage done there to the sh to those shields. Um, that's what it's all about, guys. All it's all about just just pounding away and doing as much damage in the time.
that you have. So now let's come to Rengar the Bad comes in and takes down Rogue. So as you can see, there wasn't really much at all left on those shields. So this shouldn't be this shouldn't be terribly difficult to finish off. So he comes in with the Zookas, let's speed it up. He flares them up, collects them there, flares up, collects them again there, and then flares into the snuggle sweet spot. There you go, the shields, battle orders, and it's all done. Rogue goes down. So there you go, there's, there's some really ni nice attacks there, guys, um, on Rogue. Now, what I said I was going to show you some bullet and um, all zookas, didn't I? Now, I believe that was on... See, this is what we've got left. So Rogue's gone, Strategizer's gone, Tapir's gone... Um, Maze and Kalisto are both pretty much near enough gone. Um, Machine is gone. Um, I think it was Kalisto where we had some. Um, I think it was Kalisto where we had some bullet and. Um, Yeah, Angry Germs. So let's have a look at Angry Germs attacking Kalisto with a uh, Zookas and Bullet. So I'll just pause it. This is what Kalisto looks like, guys, at full on hope level. So again, as you can see with all these bases at this level, there's a hell of a lot going on. There's a lot of defences. There's also a lot of power cells, but there's also a lot of defences um, spread just about everywhere. So it does look quite intimidating. Um, but what I've learned from um, being in a 50-man task force is that um, there's enough people that everybody can just do a little bit, um, you know, like universal remotes and rockets or shocks. Um, just, you know, everybody does a little bit, taking out bits, you know, defences here and there, and then it doesn't seem quite so intimidating. So, yeah, so here we've got um, Angry Germs coming in. What was the... Um so on this one, we've got building health of plus 1,575%, guys, which is an incredible amount of health. That is just ridiculous. A ridiculous amount of health there, guys. Health boost, should I say. Uh, so, yeah, we've got um, angry germs coming in with a couple of boats of Zookas over on the right-hand side to um, eat up some of those power cells to get more... To get more gumbo energy, you'll you'll see this a lot a lot guys on 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 some of these higher level operations. Um, it's quite um, a, a, a well known um, strategy um, on bases where you've got cells that aren't ranged by defences on one side. You can, if you need more gumbo energy, um, you can just farm a whole load of gumbo energy with two boats of zookas on one side and then when you've got enough as he's going to do in a minute i believe let's just speed this up in a, in a in two times so in just a few minutes or seconds even he's going to flare those zookas back down and then launch the rest of his zookas and say so, okay so he is actually going to take all of those cells so there we go he's taken all of those cells there he's flared them back down He's fled them back down like he's fled them along and now he's l launching out his other zookas. Just like that. He's going to throw smoke there because those rockets at the front will range the, the beach front there. He's flaring up. Very nice to very nicely avoided those um, shock mines there. Very good. Um, there we go. I probably should have just slowed this down a bit. Let's put this back to one speed. There, you he shocks bullet there. He does the, um, that's what we call the mortar wrap, I believe. He um, flares to the flamethrower and so the zookas wrap around the mortar, uh, which is which is a, a trick that 
a lot of people know but it, it's quite hard to actually pull off I've never tried it myself um, but it, it is you need to get the timing right and everything so there we go so that was a bullet a bullet zoo there's another one after angry germs Um, I'm just going to call this guy Cloud. Um, I don't know what his, I don't know what that, that, um, I don't know what the rest of his name means, but I'm going to call him Cloud. So we've got Cloud coming in here with uh, another Zooka and the Bullets. Mm -hmm. Zookas and the Bullet, Bullet and the Zookas. That could be a name for a band, you know. Bullet and the Zookas. Funky band name. So again, he does exactly the same. Flares there. Again, very, 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 very nicely. Goes right through the middle of those shock blasters, shock launchers, sorry, and avoids those mines and shock mines there. Let's just slow it down again. So you can see he shocked bullet in place there. He flares the uh, flamethrower so they wrap around that mortar. Bullet comes unshocked, he la he gets the taunt up, only needs two shocks because everything else is going to hit Bullet with the taunt and the Zookas are safe to just pound away at that core until they get destroyed by everything. But as you can see, a lot of damage done there, so that that's generally how, how the... How the pros do Bullet and the Zookas. Um, I am practicing that myself. Um, still haven't quite mastered it yet, but as you can see, it works very well. Um, let's see. What were we looking at? Kalista. So um, I don't think there's any more attacks on Kalista. Oh, there's one. Master Yoda. Attack Callisto, Bullet and the Zookas. So uh, comment down below guys while we're watching these. Um, let me know if you are interested in seeing more um, high level op hits like this. Um, as you saw we're doing Forlorn, Forlorn Hope every day. Um, if you want to see more of Fallen, Fallen, oh my god, what is wrong with me? I can't say that blooming word. If you want to see more Operation Hits from that operation, let's just say it like that, um, then please let me know, comment down below, guys. Let me know if you want to see more of these Operation Hits. Um, let me know if it helps you in your own task force with your own high level operation hits so he peaks a little bit there and loses some zookas but it doesn't matter because he's still got he's still got a good number again very very six uh, there he f shocks bullet does the flare to the mortar so they wrap uh, flare to the flamethrower so they wrap around that mortar now where's bullet bullet okay so i don't know if the shock worked because bullet is still quite close to everything but still yeah it worked um well almost okay so that that wasn't such a good one it is it's very hard to master guys it's very hard to actually get the timing right um for shocking bullet um and it's easy to to fluff up and get the timing wrong as well um so, yeah, let's have a look at the, so this was the last, the most recent attack on Callisto. Big walkway, attack Callisto, let's see what he gets done. So, yeah, please let me know down below, guys, if you want to see more Operation Hits. And I will gladly oblige. Um, as I say, uh, thank you to uh, Ryan, the PSC Life, for this suggestion. Um, I think it's quite a good suggestion um, because as he says a lot of people won't get to see or um, have the chance to attack in these high level ops because they're just not doing those in their current task forces and they're not that uh, that level so if for people out there that want to see higher level operation gameplay um, I am now in one, and these are the kind of hits and bases and things that we're doing. So, yeah, again, 
perfect flare position so they walk right in between those mines. See, he shocks bullet, gets the zookas up there, flares the mortar. Sorry, I keep saying mortar, flares the um, flamethrower so they wrap around the mortar. Bullet is there, a good distance away from the zookas, throws the taunt up, shocks the flamethrowers and, and those rockets at the back. And another taunt, and the zookas can just pound away at the core there. And then he's obviously run out of energy for more shocks. But there, he again, you can see he's done a great deal of damage on that core there, and there's uh, not much left there. Um, so, yeah, so that's Callisto. There's some um, bullet and zooka hits for you. Um, so I don't know what else you want to see, guys. Um, Perhaps I'll just show. I'll just show you what maze we've done maze, but I'll show you what maze looks like at the beginning. So there we go. Just pause it. So this is what maze looks like on Forlorn Hope. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shields. Um, I, will it let me? No, it won't let me see the health. But the health is. 601% health boost on this one. Um, as you can see, we've got shock blasters at the front, a rocket at the front. As you can see, guys, Maze has the barbed wire. Um, so again, a lot of you might not have even come across um, operation bases with the barbed wire. And if you remember one of the updates a while ago, Supercell brought in barbed wire for the um, only for very high level operations um, I believe that was because they were trying to encourage people to use other troops other than all zookas on um, on these high level operations um, but as a lot of you probably know um, it didn't really work because you can still um, walk zookas through barbed wire and all you need to do is throw one med kit on them and it doesn't kill them um so yeah people do still use all zookas um on them so that's what that's what maze looks like at the beginning let's just see what jeff gets done here so he's um He's taken out that rocket launcher there with Sparky. He's now going to take out these shock launchers. He's going to, let's speed this up, because he's just going to go up here and I think he's going to take out that one. He's going to go over there. He's going to take out that mortar. He's going to just farm some cells there. Um, down here, he's going to blow away the mines around the shields so that people can get there. So, yeah, um, that's what Maze looks like at the beginning. Um, I'll show you the most recent Maze hit. Bad Moon, one hour, an hour and a half ago, came in and hit Maze. Um, So here we go. At this point, we have got rid of all the shields, guys. So it's just a case of core hit. So he comes in with all the zookas. Speed this up a bit. Um, gathers one or two cells there, flares up. He's going to gather another couple more cells. He blows away some mines there to make a space for the zookas. He flares up again. Very narrowly misses that laser. That was lucky. Um, and there we go, guys. As you saw there... I'll just slow it down. As you saw, he was able to get his zookas through that barbed wire. I don't think he even needed to put a... Um, and the second barbed wire, and he he's going to go through this third barbed wire now, you see. 
and he will put a med kit down after this one but as you can see it, it does damage their health a little but if you're just going through one barbed wire um, I don't know if he does put a med kit down actually I don't think he does and then he just shocks shocks the rockets and the lasers pound away at the core there Yeah, it gets quite a bit of damage done there. So yeah, that was a, a good hit from from Bad Moon, and as you, that's how that's how you can get through barbed wire with Zookas. I don't think he even did put any med kits down, but generally, um, as people found out after they brought in that update with the barbed wire, if you just throw one med kit on your Zookas when as they're going through the um, the barbed wire, then you know they won't die. Um, so yeah, that that's um look we've actually got we've actually got Island Islandia coming in on Boomtown. So let's actually just watch this hit live. This is a live hit now, guys. So this is the this is the one that I attempted and I completely fluffed it. I managed to get rid of the mortar and the one of the rocket launchers and I sort of fluffed it. So I'm not going to show you mine. Um the previous operation, the previous forlorn hope that we did, um, I did do quite a good hit on that, so I might just show you that one instead because it's a lot better. <laughs> um, I'm not going to show you my fluff ups um, unless you desperately want me to show you my fluff ups, but it's not particularly interesting. Um, so yeah, we've got Islandia. Islandia. Islandia, Islandia, Island, Islandia, Islandia. Islandia coming in here with the Zookas and Brick. Flares up there. So that this is this is what Boomtown looks like, guys. Again, we've got the three shields over there. We had three shields over. We've got three shields over to the right. We had three shields over to the left, which has already been taken out. So he flares up there. And there we go, he, he manages to get his Ookas into that blind spot of the rockets, takes them out, and then takes out the other rocket and some power cells. Oh, comes into range of that machine gun and loses a lot of Zookas, but at least he has cleared he's cleared all the rockets which is good he blows away some mines around the um, shield gens he's working his way over to the shield gens there see that's what I was supposed to have done but I fluffed it a bit but yes that's what I was trying to do take out the the rockets and I only managed to take out one and I kind of as I say fluffed it a bit but um, it looks like Islandia Islandia is um, doing a grand job here. He's got rid of all the remaining rockets. He's on the shield gens. He is not in range of the, those rockets or that shield gen. He's not even in range of those mortars, so he can just blast away at the shield gens here. It looks like he is going to get both of them. There's only 40 seconds left. Hopefully he will get both of these shields. I don't know if he's got another battle orders left. 30 seconds. Hopefully. Yeah, it looks like he is going to get both of these shields. There we go. So shields all gone now, guys. And he flares back. He's going to get hit with that mortar, but it doesn't matter because he's done what he came to do. He's got rid of the rockets. He's got rid of the remaining shields. 10 seconds left. He's just going to come up there and just farm some more cells. But, yep. Yeah. Brilliant attack there. Absolutely brilliant attack there from Islandia. And that is exactly what I should have done. And with practice, I shall get better at things like that. But yeah, so brilliant, brilliant live attack there from Islandia. Um, yeah, so big shout out to Islandia in my task force. Um, 
I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah, well done, well done, man. Great attack. So yeah, that that that's a sneak peek at some of the some of the operation um, bases on Forlorn Hope for you if you've never seen them before. Um, let's yeah, let me show you my attack from the last one. Um, was it the last one? Yeah, I came in and I destroyed Torrent. So let me show you my attack from the last one. I was quite pleased with this. I'll just pause it first of all. So first of all, this is what Torrent looks like, or this is what Torrent looked like at the time several other people had been at it before me but um as you can see we do still have two shields left there um mm -hmm. and i don't know what the health was building health boost 1182 and there was still quite about half of that shield left i think it was about 11 million or something i can't remember the exact what the numbers were was it 11 million guys can't remember but anyway so here i go this is me this is snuggles your your host coming in with the zookas so what my plan here is i'm flaring there because i'm going to take out the sniper towers and the uh, machine gun but yeah, unfortunately i was a little bit late shocking those mortars and they took out a couple of There we go, got the machine gun, got the sniper towers, and then it was just getting into position and flaring at. I had a little bit of a tricky, I f it was a bit tricky to actually get into the right position here where I was free of everything shooting at me to pound away at the core. Those cannons were picking me off, so I tried to reflare again. And, yeah, got in range of that mortar again, which was really annoying. But, yeah, I decided to just, once that mortar had hit, then I'm not in range of anything else now. And I just pound away at the core. So we'll just speed this up a bit, guys. Um... I, I boosted all my gunboat energy, so at this point I'd already used two battle orders. Um, I still had energy for, I think, another two or three? I think it was two. So um, I basically just wait until the shields are down, and then I'm going to use my last two battle orders once the shields are down. Um... So you can see the time is ticking away there. We've got 1 minute 15 seconds, 1 minute 10 seconds. So we've got one, just under 1 minute now. And I still haven't got the shield down, but the shield is about to go down. The shield's gone, guys. I stick my battle orders on. There's one. I was wondering at this point, am I actually going to get this? I do another one. And um, with about 20 seconds left to go on the clock, guys, I uh, I take down a torrent. So, not the most skillful of attacks because I'm basically just, my troops are basically just, just sat there pounding away and I'm just pressing battle orders. But still, I was quite pleased with that. Um, so, that there was a heck of a lot left on that shield. I, I think it was about 11 million or something. Um, some of my task force buddies can... can um, Correct me if I'm wrong there. I think it was about 11 million left on that shield. But there. So there you go, guys. Um, that is our task force. Um, let's just say nice hit. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the video. Um, as you can see, I've still got all my my boosts going on here. Um, 
but I think this video is, oh, this video is very long, so 47 minutes, so um, I won't do any more attacks now for you guys, because otherwise it's going to be really, really long, but next time we'll go back to just normal player bases and, um, and whatnot. So, yeah, Snuggles is out. Bye! Hope you enjoyed the operation hits. Bye!